For the first time in more than a year, the Virginia Symphony Orchestra is getting ready to perform again, but each venue is still limited in what it can do. So what does this mean for you? Connor Rio shows us how they're adjusting. Now, Governor Ralph Northam's new loosened restrictions did not eliminate the 250-person capacity limit for indoor venues like Chrysler Hall. But the Virginia Symphony Orchestra is performing at venues in Hampton Roads for the first time in over a year. What's to come for these venues with the spring and summer on the horizon? In order to look ahead, Seven Venues Assistant Department Director Rob Henson must first look back. Uh, we spent eight to ten months just moving shows, right? So I think we moved over 700 events. Many of those shows now sit on the calendar. I'm looking at my calendar here. We've got on average four to six events per day for the foreseeable future. At Chrysler Hall and the Sandler Center for Performing Arts, there are a lot of unknowns. We need more capacity in order to get more shows. Nationally touring shows cannot be financially successful with reduced capacity. Sandler Center Marketing Manager Megan Boyle says rescheduling has become the norm. The most difficult part has been just rescheduling events. Both venues say they've got precautions in place as they go forward with smaller events, and they're hopeful that larger events can happen soon. We're practicing social distancing, so within the seats and outside in the lobby. Masks are required at all times. And then we have hand sanitizer stations throughout the building, and then performers also on the stage are social distancing as well. Connor Real, 13 News Now. Now the orchestra is playing the Ferguson Center in Newport News Friday night, Chrysler Hall in Norfolk Saturday, and the Sandler Center for the Performing Arts in Virginia Beach Sunday afternoon.